Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK. And today I just wanted to do um, really a quick video, um, which has been mentioned in some of my other videos, but it might get lost in the longer, uh, longer sort of videos. Um, I want to stress the importance of uh, setting up uh, your system drive, especially on QUTS Hero, the ZFS based file system uh, version of our operating system. Really, really make sure that you use SSDs for the system pool if possible. Um, so here, if we go into our storage and snapshots, this is an as I've just set up. It hasn't got any storage pools or anything yet. Um, quick little wizard there. What I'm going to do first of all is go down to storage and snapshots, and I'm going to create a new storage pool. So this is the very first pool that you create on the NAS. That will be the system pool by default. Um, so just a little wizard here, click next, and at the bottom it says tip, select SSDs to improve the performance of the system pool. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick drives 1, 2, 3, and 4, which are all SSD. Um, RAID type, you can choose whichever RAID type you prefer. With the 4 there, I'm going to choose a RAID 10 setup. So I've got uh, mirroring and striping. Um, so this is how I'm going to set it up for uh, this particular NAS. So if you do happen to have um, hard drives and other things that, that, um, uh, that you want to add uh, storage pools to later, um, by all means create those later. Um, but the very, very first pool that you create, it's very important to make sure um, that this is going to be um, on SSDs. If you don't do it on SSDs, um, all the apps and things that you install on the NAS, so if you go to the App Center and install any uh, apps, uh, functions, all the services that are running um, on the NAS, um, they're really, really going to benefit from being on an SSD storage. Same as when you've got your, your laptop or desktop PC, it's always advised to have the boot drive on those or the system drive to be on SSDs and install all your applications to them. Have your data on hard drives, that's no problem at all. Um, but anything that's running, um, essentially, should be on um, SSDs and the system drive is exactly that. That's where everything runs from. So when you install um, applications, you enable a service, um, anything like that, it's best to have that on the SSDs. Um, so just wanted to do a quick um, individual video about this one point because uh, I think it's getting missed in some of the other videos that we've got. So um, hopefully you found that useful. Um, unfortunately, if you've created it on hard drives already and you wanted to switch to SSDs, there's no real easy way to do that. It's pretty much a factory reset of the NAS to do that, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, really make sure that the first storage pool, you can see here it gets brackets system next to it. Um, make sure that is the one that you have set up on an all SSD setup. Um, it's going to perform much better than, say, hard drives with an SSD cache. All right, if anybody has any questions about this, please do let me know uh, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks very much. Bye.